All right, guys, so we're here with the um, first of the two guns that we're going to do tonight. We're going to go ahead and test the trigger pull on it. This is 100% factory Anderson mil spec um, lower parts kit. Six pounds, 14.8 ounces. Um, we'll go ahead and do it one more time. Uh, I, would, I fear we're going to be right around the same. Six pounds, nine point two ounces, a little, little under seven pounds, um, six and a half to seven pounds, and that's a factory trigger. That trigger has nothing done to it. Uh, I put it in the gun myself. Um, that rifle is one hundred percent stock, and it yields a six pound nine point two to six pound thirteen ounce trigger. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and break it down. We're gonna install the spring kit, and we'll. Uh, retest it all right guys so we just finished installing the yellow jp springs in our first ar-15 here um, before the trigger was like i said six pounds say 13 ounces um six six pounds nine to six pound 13 ounces I'll go ahead and give her another shot here with the jp springs turn on her digital tr trigger pull gauge here three pounds 13.2 ounces let's give her another shot three four pounds so we're right around the four pound mark so with our JP spring kit and our um, trigger take-up screw installed, um, we produce a trigger that's right about four pounds. Um, it feels really, really nice. Um, the trigger is very smooth. Um, with the mil spec trigger, it, it, it's actually very surprising. I didn't fear we would get um, almost two pounds off of it. Uh, that is from our factory Anderson parts kit, that is. Um, Two pounds is great. The trigger feels good. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and install the call valley. We'll go ahead and do a comparison. Um, before we'll go ahead and set this up on the vise here. And this uh, AR-15, we will go ahead and do a, a basic beginning test here. Six pounds, 14 ounces. Six pounds, 14 ounces. Six pounds, 14 ounces. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install the other spring kit here on the, on the bench and we'll get another, we'll get a, another reading. All right, there they are, they're out. We're gonna install the, the Call Valley Springs on this one. Now this just shows you how quick it actually is. Springs out here. We'll remove the little green spring from Anderson there. On. 
I didn't think these Anderson spring kits were bad. Um, I think I thought six pounds was, or almost seven pounds was, was pretty good for an AR-15. Uh, I've read some reviews where some people had some eight and nine pound triggers, um, but I'm sure that I would be somewhere in there too. But six six pounds, thirteen ounces seems pretty good. All right, so there's your trigger assembly with your trigger springs. I'm going to drop that back in there. Hammer spring, just a quick little swap out. These Call Valley springs do feel a little softer. Uh, I kind of worry about their longevity. Uh, so I guess that's what we do. We test things out, right? Rubber mallet. <laughs> Don't beat on with a hammer. Now this AR already has a, a adjuster in it. Uh, I put it in yesterday just to kind of give an idea how they worked. This one feels a little heavier, but we shall test. Turn our gauge on again. Four pounds, twelve point eight ounces. Uh, we'll stack her up and we'll run our shot here. Four pounds, ten ounces. Oop. Right about between. Four pounds, ten ounces, and five pounds um, is going to be the trigger pull on the call uh, spring kit. That's a little disappointing. Uh, all right, guys. So to recap what we did this evening, um, in our first AR-15 here, we put a Call Valley um, uh, reduced power spring kit in there. The stock lower parts kit Anderson manufacturer uh, springs produced a trigger pull that was six pounds. 13, 14 ounces, somewhere around that neighborhood. Um, after we put in the spring kit, we produced a trigger pull of four pounds, 10 ounces. The trigger actually pulls very well. Um, it doesn't feel too light. Um, it feels like there's a good positive uh, reset. There's a good positive crisp break to it. Um, there's hardly any creep after we adjusted it out with the uh, grip screw. Um, Again, it was four pounds, 10 ounces on the Call Valley. I would recommend the kit to anybody. It's a great kit for $7. Um, I bought two of them. I got another one going in another gun that we're gonna test and beat up out at the range a little bit. In our other AR-15 over here, I uh, installed the JP kit, the JP Yellow Spring, Yellow Spring kit. Um, the, the standard manu Anderson Manufacturer Lower Parts kit in that rifle again produced Six pounds, 13 ounces, six pounds, 14 ounce factory trigger pull. Um, we put the grip screw in it and the JP Enterprises uh, yellow springs and it produced a flat four pound pull. Um, zero ounces, just straight four pounds. A uh, solid, crisp, clean break um, in a positive uh, reset. Um, it's short, it's not outlandish or anything like that. Um, I would say for most of my rifles, um, and doing this kind of trigger job, I'm probably going to be using the JP Springs from now on. Um, however, I do have another set of the Call Valley. I will be using those as well. For $7, you're reducing it almost two pounds, which is excellent. Um, about three pounds with the JP, with the JP uh, Spring Kit. Um, but they run about eleven to twelve dollars for that kit. Plus, you're going to have some shipping in there. And if you do buy the grip screw or the grip screw here, the adjustable grip screw, 
Uh, I think these were selling for about $11 um, plus $3 in shipping or something in that neighborhood. Um, or if you venture out, you can make them on your own. Not a big deal. But there you are. Again, 4 pounds, 4, point, four pounds, 10 ounces. You can't beat either one of them. I thought both uh, triggers uh, groups did a, or spring kits did a, did a very good job on um, what they advertise they do. Um, Call Valley actually produced a little bit lower than what they said. It says it's going to produce between a five and six pound pull. Uh, it did knock it down four pounds, ten ounces. That is a little under uh, the five pound mark. So that's a that's good that you know they are exceeding their expectations on that. Um, the JP Enterprise was right on mark. It said between three and a half and four and a half pounds, right at four pounds. You, you can't beat it. They told you what it was going to be. It came in right right there. Um, it just goes to show they definitely tested the product. They know what it's going to be. Um, very happy with the results this evening. Again, two rifles we did this evening are Anderson Manufacturing Lowers. This one is a full Anderson rifle. This one is one that we built. Um, we are using them. Lyman trigger pull gauge um, to do all of our testing. Um, the numbers seem to be positive and you know accurate to, to our knowledge. Uh, if there's anything else we can do, uh, let us know. I'd love to do some more reviews. I'm going to be buying small parts uh, along the way. I'm not a millionaire. I'm just a millwright doing uh, these videos to give an honest review. So uh, if there's small parts you don't think would be neat to buy, you don't want to buy them, you, and you think that it'd be worth a review, give me a shout, let me know, and I'll gladly see what I can do to try to review it if I can.